What's going on everybody, it's Vic Fam here, Realtor in Cincinnati, Ohio. I recently made a video about some of the key areas to live in in the general Cincinnati area. I've tagged that video down in the description below. But in this video, I kinda wanna go the same direction, but in a different direction at the same time, if that makes sense. That don't make no sense. So instead of talking about where you can live in Cincinnati, we're gonna be talking about the suburbs in the vicinity of the Cincinnati area. We call this the greater Cincinnati area. Anywhere that's in the Southwest Ohio area within about 25 or 30 miles of Cincinnati is considered the greater Cincinnati area. So I get that question a lot from clients. They wanna know what are the best suburbs outside of the city, but still not so far away from the city. You know, cause some buyers like the suburb life, but still like having access to the city because that's where all the fun is. So if you're wondering what are the best suburbs in and around the Cincinnati area, stick around. I'm going to give you my top 17 right now. So if you don't know, I am a realtor in the Cincinnati area. This channel is all about everything Cincinnati and everything to do with things in and around Cincinnati. So if you're thinking about buying or selling a house in Cincinnati, please reach out to me. I'd love to hear from you. You can call me, text me, shoot an email, whatever's best. I always leave my contact information in the description. Always here to help. If you wanna stay updated on content about Cincinnati, please consider subscribing. Also, leave a like, leave a comment, and let me know your thoughts about this video. Okay, top 17 suburbs in the Cincinnati area. Some of these will be within the city limits. Some of them may be outside of the city limits, but all in the greater Cincinnati area. Let's jump right into it and I'll count backwards from 17 down to one with one being the best. But honestly, guys, this could be ordered in any way, depending on your preferences. These are all great communities with a genuine suburban vibe to them. So they could really be ordered however you want. But this is just my professional opinion based on the rankings and my experience living in and around Cincinnati. Number 17 is Fairfield. Fairfield, Ohio is located in Butler County, about 30 minutes north of Cincinnati. You can find some homes around here around 150,000, although there are several patches of more upscale homes valued 300, 400,000. Fairfield has a really strong job market, especially if your expertise is auto sales. Actually, I bought my last vehicle in Fairfield. If you go over on Dixie Highway in Fairfield, Guys, there's literally dozens of auto dealers on that road. That's no exaggeration at all. Literally dozens of auto dealers on one street. So that's a huge plus if you're moving here and you're into auto sales, or if you're in the market to buy a car, living in Fairfield, you won't have to go far to find something you like. But outside of that, definitely some above average ratings on niche.com. Also rated number six on best places to live in Butler County. Number 16 is Forest Park. Now Forest Park is about 20 miles north from Cincinnati, about a 25 minute drive average. So not too far out from all the fun and excitement of the city, but still keeps that suburban feel. It's right on the border of Springdale and Fairfield. Now this is a great place for you if you're in the 150 dollars to $200,000 price range. Really common to find three bedroom houses in Forest Park at that range. I get a lot of buyers contact me about Forest Park because it's a great place to find a nice starter home. You can very often find a three bed, two bath house in Forest Park right now under 200,000. Yes, the Cincinnati real estate market is on fire just like most of all the other markets in the country. So when those houses come up, you gotta pounce on them quick. I tell my buyers all the time, if you wanna go after those competitive homes, you gotta be ready to pull the trigger. We gotta get your pre-approval in hand, be ready to make offers as soon as we see these houses. Because if you're not prepared, there will be another buyer who is ready and usually the buyers who move the fastest are the ones that get those houses. Looking at niche.com ratings on Forest Park, they have an overall rating of a B. Schools and housing closer to average, but a good place for families because of the suburban layout of the neighborhood. So I would highly recommend Forest Park if you are a new buyer looking for a starter home or if you're a repeat buyer and you just don't wanna spend a ton of money on a house. Number 15 is Lebanon. Lebanon is a little bit further out, about 30 miles, 35 minutes from Cincinnati, located in Warren County where the populated areas are not as dense as they are closer to the city. It's common to get more land and space between your neighbors here than you would in the city. Price-wise, you do pretty well for about 250K. Those under 200K, three bed, multiple bath homes do pop up, but for the most part, 250 to 
4K is more common ground if you want three or more bedrooms. Niche.com has them as the seventh best place to live in Warren County. They have some pretty well-rounded ratings, so a lot of stability here, low crime rates, great place to settle down. Like I said, it's a good ways out from Cincinnati, so you're not gonna hear too much of that hustle and bustle that you would closer to the city. Number 14 is Springdale. Springdale, Ohio is also north of Cincinnati. Pretty short drive and you can get there in probably less than 30 minutes. It's really close to Winton Woods Park, which is a very popular park in Cincinnati. Good stop if you wanna do some boating, camping, or fishing. I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. Houses have not been popping up that often in Springdale lately. With the inventory being so low, this is another one of those areas where you literally have to be watching the market and jumping on those homes as soon as they hit the market because they're flying and I ain't lying. He ain't lying. So Springdale, pretty solid overall ratings on Niche as well. They rated it 4,335 amongst the best places to live in America. I'm not sure how many neighborhoods there are in the United States, but I would imagine tens of thousands. So we'll take it. Springdale, Ohio, another suburb fairly close to Cincinnati. Number 13 is Green Township, located about 20 miles west of Cincinnati and right outside of Westwood and next to Bridgetown. Green Township boasts some of the best schools and housing the greater Cincinnati area has to offer and it's in the vicinity of some good shopping and dining over on Glenway Avenue but even if you don't care about all that stuff the cleanliness and the care given to the community is a sight to see very well kept community a minus on niche and the budget over here is probably going to be in the 200 to 300 K range not a lot of huge homes over here but some of the blocks are really cozy but very well kept and a safe suburb towards the west side number 12 is Sharonville about 22 minutes north of Cincinnati Sharonville is near the very well-known Princeton High School, which is a college preparatory school. So if you have kids who have big goals on getting prepared for college, that's something to keep in mind. Also near Sharon Woods Park, a beautiful and scenic park. Great place to go for a walk and see the historical buildings. Look at this, Niche has it categorized as number 44 as far as the best places to retire in Ohio. Something to consider if you're looking to find somewhere to settle down. As far as home prices, I think Sharonville is still kind of in the middle of the pack still. 200, 250, maybe 300 for three or more bedrooms and multiple bathrooms. Number 11 is Milford, Ohio. Milford is about 25 miles east of Cincinnati. Home prices can get pretty high here. Not too uncommon to find some 600, 700K houses out here. They have a place called Scene 75 out here. It's like a mini indoor theme park. I love taking my kids there. Some really good housing, good schools, and number one best place to live in the entire county, says niche.com. Number 10 is Loveland, Ohio. Loveland is about 30 minutes northeast of Cincinnati. Depending on what part of Loveland you're in, home values can drastically change. Might be 800K on one block and then a few subdivisions over, you're looking at only 200, 250. So a range of options in Loveland. Loveland is known for its Lake Isabella, where you can go camping, boating, fishing, or have a nice picnic. Another highly rated suburb outside of Cincinnati. Great place if you're trying to raise a family as well. Number nine is Dry Run. Now Dry Run, as its name implies, is pretty dry. Dry land is not a myth. I've seen it. Not much to do out here, about 20 miles east of Cincinnati, but the housing and quality of living is definitely above average. Now, unless you have a good realtor like me, good luck finding a house out in Dry Run. This is the type of area where people just don't ever want to leave. And realtors that work those areas know that. So when houses come up in Dry Run, they're usually gone before they even hit the market. Having a relationship with a good realtor is probably your best bet on landing something over there. And as you would expect, everything above average, another great place to raise a family. Number eight is Anderson Township. You're not gonna hear too many bad things about Anderson besides maybe the higher cost of living. Tucked away about 20 minutes east of Cincinnati, you will get the ultimate suburban experience living in Anderson. And you will see your fair share of $1 million to $2 million houses. Good schools as well, good for you if your budget is a little bit higher. Number seven is Westchester. Now expect to have a purchase budget of around 300,000 if you're looking for three bedrooms or more in Westchester. That's around the medium, but a lot of the homes that sold last year in Westchester were well over 500K. So on the much higher end of the price spectrum, the ratings show you why. Lots of fun stuff to do out in Westchester. You can check out the main attraction indoor park, go ax throwing or enjoy plenty of dining if that's your thing. And it's only about 23 miles from Cincinnati. Westchester is an affordable upscale neighborhood if that makes sense. So. If you're on a budget that is a little higher than average, Westchester might be a good spot for you to look into. 
Number six is Blue Ash. Now, only about 15 minutes outside of Cincinnati, Blue Ash is another family-oriented community ranked pretty high among Cincinnati's suburbs. Buyers in this area will generally have a 300K or more budget if they're looking for three bedrooms with multiple baths. But if you don't live in Blue Ash, Blue Ash Nature Park is a must-see if, of course, you're in the parks. Number five is Wyoming. Now, Wyoming is more within the city limits. You can probably get there from downtown in about 15 minutes. Very well-kept and diverse community. High Higher home prices, yes, but another area built on the power of community. They have some neat little historical vintage shops and local spots to hang out in also. I have some family history in Wyoming, so I can tell you as far back as I can remember, Wyoming has always been a very quiet and desirable place to live. Number four is Mason, about 25 miles northeast of Cincinnati up in Warren County. Mason has for some time now been considered the best place to live in Warren County, and that is probably hard to argue against, especially factoring in their public school system. Everything from elementary up to high school is rated really high as are the home prices so much higher cost of living as we're making our way towards the top of this list guys number three is indian hill or more formally known as the village of indian hill another community within the city limits only about 12 miles from downtown going east indian hill is known for its academics in fact it's ranked amongst the best public schools in the entire state of ohio crime is pretty much non-existent here nothing ever happens here like at all but the price you pay for great schools and no crime is high home values here are amongst the highest in the greater cincinnati area million dollar houses are just like a normal thing here so if you're a buyer with a higher budget but still want to be in within close proximity to the city, Indian Hill might be a good fit for you. Number two is Marymount, another suburb within the city limits. Marymount is roughly 10 miles from the city and conveniently located near lots of dining. Not too far from Kenwood Mall, we can get your shop on if that's what you're into. They also boast some of the best schools Cincinnati has to offer and home price points are not as high as they are in Indian Hill, but definitely not on the cheap end. Expect to have a budget of 400K minimum and honestly, that's just being modest. And number one is Madeira, Ohio. Now Madeira is actually very close to the village of Indian Indian Hill, so you're still close to the city. Another area where you're gonna have higher cost of living, but almost no crime, outstanding schools, and a convenient location. So there was actually several communities. I was kind of upset I couldn't fit them on this list. Honestly, I could have fit another 13 more on here and made a top 30 list. But I think this list really captures some of the best suburbs to choose from both in and outside of the city limits of Cincinnati. So I hope that helps keep you informed if you're thinking about moving to Cincinnati or if you're already in Cincinnati and you want to relocate somewhere else. If you have any questions about buying or selling a house in Cincinnati, please give me a call, send me a text, email, whatever works for you. If you want to stay updated on more videos, videos about Cincinnati, please consider subscribing to the channel. Leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know how you feel. Thanks again for watching. See you next time.